Theresa, do you have a concern that there are council properties here in Thurrock and here in Averley that are being relet but they're not fit to be relet? Absolutely, that's my belief. Um, I feel quite strongly that um, the properties, particularly the void properties, the work that should be done in those properties is not being done. They're just the council, Thurrock Council, are just doing the bare minimum um, at a push. But they're under pressure, the council. Can you understand their situation, under pressure to get these places relet? Um, I understand they're under pressure, but the people of Thurrock deserve to have a, a property which they can live in without any issues, uh, particularly the repairs. As I say, I do believe that Thurrock Council are just doing the bare minimum in these properties and they're certainly not decent homes. What is your evidence? Um, I've recently been involved in a, a case as uh, I'm a representative, I'm the Averley representative, um, uh, I do voluntary work um, in this area and I was recently involved in a case of a young lady in a flat and the, the condition of the flat was extremely poor. Um, there was issues with plaster work in the hallway. Um, when the young lady went to decorate, there was holes in the wall um, which were being held back by the paper and also the paper in the hallway. Um, the contractors had actually filled cracks in over the top of the wallpaper. There's evidence in that flat that the floors, which the floor tiles contain asbestos, um, there was crack tiles in the flat and there was also tiles that had been lifted. Um, the, the, the front door, um, the locking mechanism on the front door was broken. Now that is security and, and tenants deserve the right to, to have properties that are secure. Who have you spoken to about this? I've spoken to um, Catherine Adadeji at the capital investment meetings. I do understand there is a lot of investment from Thurrock Council over the next five years to get the stock up to um, a standard of decent housing but I do feel it's quite flawed. For example, on the damp and mould properties within, within the area, I've um, recently spoken to uh, one of uh, the tenants in, in my road who has um, informed me that yes, they do have damp and mould, um, but they've not received anything um, from the council, um, say a, a circular for them to complete, um, to, to assess what issues they have in their, their property. So I do question, um, you know, sort of how Thurrock Council are attaining their information of what actually needs to, to, to be done in each of the properties, particularly on the damp and mould, um, the, the, the repairs, the, the contractor, the, the, the mirrors, which let, lets all of us understand that mirrors um, bought Morrison's um, from Anglian Water, which was the parent company of Morrison's, and the staff of Mir sorry, of Morrison's went over to Mears. So, so the people that are actually doing the repairs are the same people. And historically, we do we do know that there's been various issues with the repairs that have been done from the contractors. Um, as I say, I've spoken to sort of tenants that do have these problems, and um, the repair, particularly with the damp and mould in their home, was the answer as far as our council was to um, just gloss over it with gloss paint. Now that doesn't make that problem disappear. In fact, it suppresses the problem, but the problem is still there. Um, that family do have um, um, asthma, young child has asthma, and I think that is detrimental to that child's health. You've mentioned the, the mirrors, etc., and we need to give them the right to apply in due course, etc., but are you concerned about the quality of their work from other perspectives? Absolutely. Um, I've been approached by various different tenants um, within the Avely area um, where the, the repairs that have been done in, in very, various different properties is very much uh, below par. Um, for example, uh, in a void property in, in this road, um, th there was uh, contractors in the property to plaster um, throughout the property and after the tenant moved in um, part of the ceiling uh, collapsed um, where uh, the, the, the plasterer didn't bond um, the plaster to the ceiling. Um, I do have um, concerns, uh, another resident in this road um, uh, has had five visits from, from me as the contractors to take photographs of a wall that needed pointing. I mean, how many times they need to come out? But more importantly is the missed appointments by, um, by Mears. Um, you know, I'm, 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 time and time again I'm being approached by residents uh, telling me that, oh, endless missed appointments, they just don't turn up. And these poor people are taking time out of their day and, and, and quite often time out from work 
um, you know, to, to, to be here to, to let the contractors in. Um, and I do feel quite strongly that that needs to be addressed. Um, at a capital investment meeting the other evening, I brought this up to Catherine Adadeji, and Catherine said, let's focus on the positives, you know, out of a thousand um, appointments uh, made, mayors do keep. 900, it's about 10% that they miss. Well, I'm more concerned about the 10% of, of the missed appointments um, rather than the 900 that they do keep. You know, And I do feel that people, the council tenants um, in Averley and particularly in the borough, do deserve a, 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 a good repair, which they're not getting from the current um, contractor. And they, they, they do deserve the contractor to turn up when they're booked to turn up.